Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going over my updated morning and nighttime skincare routines. I'm going to walk you through both my full morning and nighttime routine, as well as give you a bit of a review on a product that I was sent from Duvol, I believe is how you pronounce it, which is kind of like a brush, it's like, it's like Clarisonic. Essentially, it's a Clarisonic. I am fresh out of the shower. I just did my hair and I just did my morning skincare routine. So I thought this would be the perfect time to sit down and walk you through both of my routines. Let's go ahead and jump in first with my morning skincare routine. I use the same cleanser morning and night. It is my absolute favorite and has been for at least a year at this point. This is from CeraVe and this is the Hydrating Facial Cleanser for Normal to Dry Skin. This I get like in the kind of value size from CVS. It's really affordable. It's under $20 and it lasts me a long time. You really only need like one pump for, you know, to clean your entire face. I take my showers in the morning, so I do wash my face in the shower normally, which is why you don't see it in the actual demonstration. I have heard that it's really not great to wash your face with really, really hot water. I can't shower with really, really hot water, so I never like worry about that I can't I've like seen people even people in my family that take like extra hot showers and I don't know how they do it like it extra hot water like makes me want to pass out I always shower with like lukewarm water or even sometimes kind of cold water because I don't know I'm not a fan of really hot showers so I wash my face in the shower and when I get out and do my hair and you know dry off and get into my robe is when I do the rest of my morning routine the next thing I go in with is my toner so I actually use this Dickinson's original witch hazel toner it's the pore perfecting toner though I did try their original one before this and I really don't see a big difference in the original versus the pore perfecting it's just a really affordable toner again I got this at CVS it's really cheap and and what I do is since the bottle is so big, I actually pour this into the bottle of Breath of Fresh Air toner that I got from Lush because the one from Lush is a spray bottle and it's small. So this, the actual toner from Lush wasn't really the best. I used it up and it was okay, but I really liked the spray bottle. So I like to keep refilling this with the Dickinson's toner and I just keep it in my bathroom and I spray it onto a cotton pad and that's how I tone. Sometimes, not every time I do my morning routine, I like to spray on a little bit of the Mario Badescu facial spray. I've got a couple of small bottles. I really like to use this more at night so you won't really see it in my morning routines, but it does just add like a little bit of extra moisture if you need it. Next, I go in with my caffeine solution 5% from The Ordinary. Now I like to take just a little bit of this. I used a little bit too much in the demonstration, but I take a little bit in the dropper and I put it just under my eyes and I like to rub this in very gently under my eyes where my bags are, uh, around the edge of my eyes where I am eventually going to get crow's feet. And then I take it up a little bit onto like my lids because I have seen a lot of reviews where people have really recommended doing that, especially if you have hooded eyes, because it can help, like, limit the effect of your hoodedness. I don't know. I saw that, and I like using it up there, especially because when I use this, if I have, like, puffy eyes in the morning, this immediately gets rid of, like, the puffiness and the feel of the puffiness, and I love that. I love that so much. So I definitely like to bring it up a little bit onto my actual eyelids. Just make sure you don't get it into your eye because it does burn if you get it into your eyes. So don't get it into your eyes. But I do like to bring it up onto my eyelids and then also in between my eyebrows. I like to rub in a little bit there as well. I've gone through two bottles of this at this point and to be honest, I would keep using it just because of the of the depuffing properties that I've gotten from it and I really enjoy it. It makes my face feel a lot better in the mornings especially. I have seen just a little bit of a difference in my actual like bags under my eyes. I remember they used to be a lot darker. I can't tell if it's because of just the rest of my skincare routine or if the caffeine solution is really helping there but I can definitely say that if you look at like my earlier videos where I don't have a full face of makeup on I think my eye bags looked a lot darker then. So I can't 100% attribute that just to the caffeine solution, but I honestly really like the product and I'm going to continue using it. Next, I reached for my CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum, and I was so happy that they came out with this product because one of my holy grail nighttime products is from CeraVe too. <laughs> this, this video isn't sponsored, by the way, by CeraVe or by anyone. They're just 
the number one like affordable brand that I've found because I duped a lot of really expensive skincare products with their brand. So this is the vitamin C serum. You really only need a little bit and I try to emphasize that in the demo. This tube is about $18 at CVS but it lasts a long time because you really only need a little bit and I rub this all over my face very gently and I also bring it up my neck and I always whenever I go to my neck I always like use upward motions, upward uh, uh, massaging motions. You never want to push like pull down on your face or anything. And I like to leave this to like settle into my skin before I go in with my next step. So I try to leave at least like a minute, two minutes in between like this and the next step. And the next step is the last step for my morning routine, which is my moisturizer. So recently I've been using, again from CeraVe, most of this is CeraVe, this is the moisturizing cream with uh, three essential ceramides. So this is the big tub for normal to dry skin. And this was actually, I first heard about this in the Taylor. She did a video on products that helped her with her Accutane because she got really dry skin through that. Recently, like in the past few months or so, I've been struggling with some dry patches all over my face, which is a bit odd for me. I do have combination skin, so I do have some very oily spots. I have some dry spots. But I was a bit worried because I was seeing patches of just like really dry skin and my current well, the routine back then wasn't really helping and you could tell like my foundation wasn't sticking well in certain spots and it was just looking odd and it was like it, it was weird. So I, tr I picked this out to try it out and it is a lot thicker of a moisturizer than I was used to, certainly. You really only need like half a pump to maybe a pump and you make sure you have to actually like rub it in in your hands fully before you put it onto your face because if you just put it straight onto your face it's not blending in it's thick <laughs> it's thick but ever since i started using this moisturizer i've seen a dramatic difference in my dry spots because i used to have a really bad dry spot right here where foundation would catch and it wouldn't look nice that is now gone and i also had a really bad one right down here close to my jawline that is also gone so i really like this also because i was looking for a moisturizer that was affordable because before this i used to use my clinique moisturizer which is a bit pricey and i didn't want to have to keep repurchasing that so this is again under 20 dollars or around 20 dollars at cvs i try to also buy all my drugstore products at one drugstore so i can rack up those points use those coupons you know if you don't have a cvs you could probably find these i think at a rite aid or any other drugstore that you have near you but i like to stick to one store if i can just to keep getting those discounts and i really do like the format of this tub with the actual like pump with it if this was just a regular tub that i had to unscrew i don't think i would like it as much i really really like the fact that it comes with a pump for this and that's everything for my morning routine after this i come up here to my vanity i put on my spf my primer and i begin my makeup for the day or if I don't feel like wearing makeup for the day, I'll put on my SPF and maybe like a tinted moisturizer or something. I don't wear makeup every, well, I wear makeup most days. I think maybe like one day a week, I don't wear makeup, most likely like a Sunday. Now for my nighttime routine, I go in with the same cleanser. Now it's at nighttime and odds are I have makeup on. I do remove my makeup first. So I do use my cleansing wipes. I like the Neutrogena cleansing wipes. Those are my favorite. They really get all the makeup off. For my eye makeup, I really like using the Neutrogena. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover. This is also affordable. I get it at CVS or at Target. I just put that into a cotton, a cotton uh, round and I use that to take off my eye makeup with a minimal amount of like tugging or ripping and also helps take off whatever I have in my eyebrows for that day. Now when I cleanse my face at night, I'm not in the shower of course because I already showered in the morning. It's when I wash my face at night that I like to use the product that I was actually sent. So this is from Duval. This was sent to me. This is not sponsored but they did send me this for a review. This is their Radiant Spin Care System. So it basically is like this little Clarisonic product. You've got like the base right here. It is battery powered and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a little bit. So it is battery powered and it only has one setting. So it's like one speed, one setting, that's what you get. It does come with a couple of brush heads though, which I'm gonna talk about right now. You get two basically face heads here. You've got one that's like for regular cleansing and you've got one that is for exfoliating. So this is the cleansing one. It's a bit softer 
and not as dense. And then the exfoliating one is a lot denser and a bit harsher. I used the regular like face cleansing one and I thought it was okay. It, I mean, it did the job. My face was cleansed. It felt nice. I used the exfoliating one and honestly, this was almost a bit too harsh for me. I definitely can't bring this up like to your eyes anywhere. Don't bring this like here. You may you really need to keep it like away from this section of your face because it is pretty harsh with the one speed. Let me put it on and show you. So you put it on like that. Can you hear that? It is a bit it is a bit rough, even though it doesn't feel too much different from the regular washing head. I can actually use this with my regular face cleanser and then that turns it into an exfoliant but only like once a week max can I use this without like completely irritating my face. I will say though if I keep this to like over here and like on the top of my forehead and down here it is a very nice exfoliant. So it does like get rid of the dead skin, it doesn't like make my face feel nice and fresh but you gotta be very careful when you use this. The other two brush heads are actually what made this stick out for me a little bit. There is a pumice stone attachment, which my feet have been getting beaten up this summer. I've been wearing my Toms and my Target Toms knockoffs. I tend to get really rough skin on my heels and then like right like where that patch of skin right below your toes. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's not your arch. It's right before your arch. That has been really, really rough. So I actually like the fact that they have like a foot kind of pumice stone attachment. It has actually worked pretty well on my feet. You do have to, of course, soak your feet beforehand and then go in and use this. I do kind of wish this had more than one setting though to work with that because sometimes it was a bit too much with the pumice stone. The last head is this big like full body scrub head and I gotta admit I did feel really bougie using this in the shower like because you get to put this on and and you can use this like all over your body so I really actually really like this for the body scrub I felt like it gave me a good not like super scrub this isn't exfoliating but I felt nice I felt clean and it, it just felt really nice to be able to use this all over my body so I did like the majority of the brush heads and now they get down to the mm, part and to be quite honest I don't really recommend this product. I, I wouldn't push anyone to buy this from their website because first of all it looks like a really nice website that this comes from but they're marketing this for $95. <laughs> There's no way in hell this is worth $95 especially when this is battery powered. Personally I like the battery power on this more because I hate charging things. I actually had a Clarisonic and I gave it to someone else in my family because I was never using it because the minute it lost power and I had to like recharge it, I would never remember to take it out of my bathroom and actually charge it and then put it back in. I'm a lazy like piece of shit, that's why. <laughs> and I actually, I like the fact that this is battery powered, but this is not $95. So they're definitely doing this as like a marketing kind of thing because I've seen, I looked up, they sponsor, not sponsor, they send their products to a lot of smaller YouTubers for review and they give everyone a discount code and they also gave me a discount code. It isn't a code that gives you like a percentage of the sale, but it knocks the price down. And the code they give everyone, I think it's a different code every time, knocks 70% off. So it comes down to like $29 or like $28.50. Now I think even the $28.50 is a bit too much for this. I honestly think this is worth around $20 because you've got the four brush heads, it's battery powered. They also don't give you like a bag or anything to keep these together in. It's just like this plastic kind of box. This is honestly something I would expect to see at like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx for around 15 to 20 bucks. If I saw it there for that price range, I picked it up, I would not be upset. I honestly think it's worth around that much. But between like the marketing they're doing on their website, how they're sending this to a lot of smaller influencers for positive reviews. I do see that. The majority of the people I saw on YouTube gave this a raving review. But also, I don't want to get too detailed here, but I've received PR from a couple of brands, and whenever I receive PR, I want to use it for a review or in a video. It doesn't help me. I don't want PR just to get free things. If I'm accepting PR, it's to help further my channel and to do reviews and to like let you guys know what's going on. So 
for the most part, when people reach out asking to send me things, I'm like, oh, I would love to do a video. Yeah, I talk about them. I go back and forth. I really specify things and make it very clear. I went through that with this brand and to be quite honest, I was kind of weirded out and shocked by the amount of follow-up emails they sent. None of the other brands that I've received PR from followed up this many times. I got one, two, three, four, five, six emails asking me when the video was going to go up. And I've not experienced that with any other brand. So quite honestly, between what they're marketing this as and they're doing the discount codes and with the emails and the way that their brand is acting, I honestly can't recommend this product point blank. But I do think you can find something very similar that works well at a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx because using this product, that's the quality that I got from this. All right, so with that out of the way, to be honest, I still use this actual product. I like to use it at night, so I will use this to help wash my face at night, again with the same CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I then go in with the same toner from the morning, that Dickinson's Toner. Now, this is where it gets different. The cream that I like to use at night, my nighttime skincare, is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. I've gone through a couple of bottles of this already, and I use this to dupe one of my favorite expensive Sunday Riley products. That was the Luna Sleeping Oil, it's Luna Sleeping Night Oil, I believe is what it's called. That is way too expensive. And whenever I stopped using that product, I saw my skin immediately like get worse. Like it would break out, it would get dry, it looked bad after I stopped using it. It wasn't until I found this cheaper product that my skin looked and felt the same great way it did when I was using that Sunday Riley product. So this is one of my holy grails. I love it. I make sure I always have one in my bathroom and at least one backup because I love this. It's one of the best products. Again, not sponsored. I just really like the CeraVe products. The next and final step is to go in with my moisturizer. Sometimes in between these two steps, I will use a sheet mask. I love sheet masks. I don't do this every night though. I'm definitely not someone who can do a sheet mask every night and do like a, a full 10 step skincare routine or whatever. But if I do use a sheet mask, sometimes it'll be right in between these two steps. But the final step is my moisturizer. And at night, I like to mix my moisturizer in with this product from The Ordinary. This is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. And I mix this in with the CeraVe. I make sure I pump the CeraVe out, rub it in between my hands, and then add a little bit of the rose hip seed oil, rub it in, and then I apply that to my face. I found this again from the Taylor and her skincare videos, and it's one of the best products. It just really helps moisturize, and it also helps even my skin tone. I've had some bad breakouts over the past couple of years, and I did have a lot of red spots, definitely worse than I have right now, and this is one of the only products where I saw an actual difference. It helps brighten my skin. It gives me a nice glow. I, ah... It's so affordable. It's like $8 a bottle. You can get it at Sephora and at Ulta now. The Ordinary is available. And it's just, oh. If, any, if anything you get from this video is check out CeraVe and also the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil is the best. The best. So I mix that with my moisturizer, slop it on, make sure it's all rubbed in nice, and I am ready for bed. So that is my full current skincare routine along with the review of the... Clarisonic dupe that I was sent for review. Let me know down below what your current skincare routine is and if you like to use those kind of like extra tools in your skincare or if you like to just use your hands. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.